Harley Davidson started 2018 with a bang. It introduced modern and explosive range of new motorcycles and Street Bob is one of those. Well, we've already tested its earlier version and we were fairly impressed by it. You can check my review of the same in the link below. So let's check if the new Street Bob is as impressive as before. Street Bob's design is inspired from the old school bobbers, which means saddling up on the bike and leaning back while holding the long and extended handlebar that looks more like a custom accessory than a stock part. Nonetheless, this laid-back look gives a certain attitude to the rider and is way more appealing than any other cruiser bike on the road. In fact, I was stopped by the cops a couple of times and none of them were interested in seeing the paper, not once. All my colleagues were drooling over it and wanted a picture with it. Some of them complained of it not having a rear seat because they wanted a ride on it, to which I replied with a devil's grin, not today. It now comes with a lot of small and big changes. On the outside, all the chrome bits have been taken off and it now comes with fully blacked out paint scheme. It has a black handlebar, black exhaust muffler, black air filter box and at the front, the light is fully LED and which is certainly sexier than before. What's also new to the package is the fully digital instrument cluster. Well, it's a bit small I'll say and I'm not really a fan of it. I mean, the old one looked just perfect. It had a needle, it was that semi digital pattern that looked better on a motorcycle like this. But still, the new panel is modern and informative and some may even like it more than before. It has all the necessary information that can be toggled with a switch given to the left side of the handlebar. It's just the size of it that may not appeal to everyone. First of all, it gets a bigger and significantly more powerful 1745cc engine, which generates close to 144 nm peak torque at 3000 rpm. The engine comes mated to a 6-speed transmission that certainly feels more precise and easier to use. The torque figures are up by 20 nm, which is a significant number. Also the peak torque is now available at lower revs. The engine feels smooth while running at around 1600 rpm to 2400 rpm which is a sweet spot for this engine. Shift the bike in the topmost gear and cruise around 2000 rpm and you will be all smiles doing close to 100 km per hour. The sweet V-twin sound from the exhaust certainly feels a bit calmer than before. And also the honor transitions felt better on its predecessor. But other than that, Street Bob now feels way more aggressive and ready to sprint as soon as clutch is released. More power is clearly visible right from the slide of the throttle inputs and all this aggression only makes the Street Bob more fun to ride. Also, the gear ratios are so set that you won't have to downshift to the lowest gear in bumper to fender traffic, even a gear higher will do. These altered ratio allow you to ride the bike in comparatively higher gears making the ride easier. Well, leave the looks aside and there's so much more that's going on inside the new Street Bob. It obviously comes with a bigger and more powerful engine and at the rear, the twin suspension setup has been swept off and it now comes with a monoshock suspension unit. Well, it might not be as old school as before, but on the other hand, it rides really better. The single seat design remains the same, which is decently comfortable, and icing on the cake is the significantly reduced heating from the engine. I remember it riding in the dense Delhi traffic when coming back from office, yet the street bob surprised me by not getting as hot as it used to, and the single biggest issue is now resolved. Talking of the brakes, the 4 piston fixed front and 2 piston floating rear disc brakes have a decent bite and stopping power but still can use slightly more progression and braking force as its weight only makes it harder to stop. The brake comes linked with ABS which does a decent job of keeping the bike up straight while stopping on slippery surfaces.
Well, it has always been a heavy motorcycle weighing close to 298 kgs. But trust me when I say this, it doesn't feel this heavy when it's on the move. On the other hand, you might not enjoy moving it in and out of tight parking spaces, but this weight contributes to making its ride really stable. The new Street Bob has risen the bar and it now comes as an even sweeter package than before, but a bit more expensive one. It is now priced at Rs 12.59 lakh, which is quite a jump from its earlier version, isn't it? But at the same time, it competes with even bigger competitors such as Indian Scout 60 and Triumph Speedmaster. But that's a different story for another day. That's all in the show today. It's goodbye for now and as always, ride safe.